Hello guys, so I am in Abuja and I decided to look for Triver Greek to know where their office is and I found it but I think they are under construction like I couldn't see any management staff or whatsoever so hopefully I come back on Monday and we'll continue this adventure I mean, if you are willing to give a large sum of your money to a company, that kind of thing, right? You need to like do your due diligence and I'm like going out of my way to like do it and see what happens. So tell you more or give you more info on Monday. Yeah, this is a fine essay try. This update, I came back. This is Monday and I just left the office now. And so far so good I had an strength <laughs> so far so good I had an interesting conversation with Fate from Triva Greek and basically I just asked a lot of like who this is not MM Christians and in terms of like security and who are the off takers and also how can farmers somewhere else like for example my mom how can she also partner with them and what's the process like? So yeah, I got some really good feedback. And yeah, let's see what happens. I'll explain more later on. Hey guys, it's your boy Alan Kenneth and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video is about Tribe at Greek and I had the opportunity and yeah, the privilege of visiting their office since I'm in Abuja. I went there twice. The first time I went there, um, it was on lockdown. I think they were like renovating and second time I went there they were still renovating but I had the opportunity to see some management staff and I spoke with Fate at Triver Greek and basically just asked them questions that had the baseline of I hope this is not another MMM and what's the difference between Triver Greek and MMM. For those who don't know what MMM is, MMM was a scam or still is a scam that has been camouflaging itself in different names and circles and people are still falling for it up to now so we are in a third world country whether we like it or not and people are desperate in terms of like we need to leave this poverty behind poverty needs to die this year poverty needs to go and look for his age mates those kind of like prayers and stuff so when you see um communications or informations or just basically investment platforms promising to give you a certain amount of percentage right within a very short time period it's always attractive and yeah we want that money you know we want to fly first class british airways you know have an ama's bag those kind of things a good life so it's but it's always necessary for you to do proper research and investigations into all these platforms luckily enough i didn't um put money in mmm but i've done forex and i did forex wrongly so i know the pain you get so i've had of tribe, tribe agreed for over two years now and i've always been skeptical about like putting money there because i wanted it to last for let's say three four five years and see what happens if they don't crash then they are good if they still exist then yeah it's something worth trying and i also had to like um figure out who is the insurance company behind this they are still not regulated by sec in a way yeah they're not regulated by sec at all but basically they are insured so that is like the safety nets for Trevor Greek and since then I've been able to like put um, buy some of their products and I think um, some should be expiring soon and hopefully I still have my money at the end of the day but there's not really an encouragement or Either is it like, oh, don't do this, but it's like, okay, for me to track my progress and see how this platform works. Like for, I did a video for Bamboo. I didn't buy any, I didn't buy any, what you call it now, stock or fund any stock there, but I'm also withdrawing my money today. And I opened the app early this morning to check how my money will, my money is still there. And surprisingly, they were, I think they were undergoing maintenance or something, and I just saw zero zero. I checked my account statement, zero zero. There's like no sign of money being there, and I was wondering like, was it the video I did? Did people hack my account because of the video I did? Like, what happened? That kind of thing, right? So I later got a message saying that don't worry, don't be scared. Um, they are undergoing maintenance. So this kind of thing pisses people off, 
and yeah but for bamboo i'm not investing in it for now because i don't feel that's my strength i am not researching into any company now like i don't know who the board directors of these companies are i don't know their revenue income so it's just a lot but it's also something that is encouraged for people that are within the age bracket of like under 20 from 20 to 30 this is the time you can take much risk and because you still have like 40 and above to regain or something like that so yeah if you can do it do it if you can't please make sure you do your research and if you can't don't kill yourself anyway guys peace out from Kenneth. see you in my next one